from the same thing. Look, uh, we have still some uncertainties at the moment because uh, uh, Kieran Gibbs has been touched uh, on his shoulder and I uh, don't know how he will respond to that. We'll see today after the players who did not travel like uh, Cazorla, like Montreal, like Walcott. There's still some uncertainty today. The closest at the moment to come back uh, looks to be Walcott, but I have a definite test with him today. You've obviously been here for, for 20 years. In terms of Tottenham sides that you've faced, how does this one compare? Well, it's uh, an interesting clash because uh, for us it's a very important game because we are in a strong position in the league that we want to strengthen and uh, of all uh, Tottenham as well. So it's very tight at the top of the league. So we are more focused to, it's a home game for us to win the game. Is it Tottenham or somebody else? Uh, we want to win our home games because uh, our position in the league is uh, very important and uh, we go into a period where we play big games and we want to win the big games. Of course it's a midday kickoff. does that change your, your preparation at all? Oh, you get up uh, a bit earlier and uh, eat a bit earlier but uh, basically no. Arsene, can I just get a bit more on each of the players that are doubts? You've mentioned Theo being the closest, uh, what about Hector Bellerin? Hector he has a test. Uh, I didn't count him uh, at the start because I thought uh, I left him behind for because I was cautious with him. Could have uh, basically forced uh, the issue a little bit. He could have played maybe uh, in uh, Bulgaria, but I think he should be all right. Nacho Monreal? He has test, field test today and tomorrow, and then we will decide. Um, Cazorla. Santa Cazorla, yeah. Cazorla similarly has not practiced yet. You know, we'll uh, try to go out today, and uh, we see where we go from there. But a, but a doubt. He's a doubt, yes. So that means that Granit Xhaka may well stand a chance of, of playing. Are you concerned by his discipline record? Uh, look, I have no uh, specific idea at the moment what I will do, but. Uh, uh, I'm a bit concerned, yes, of course, because uh, the discipline is important. Uh, I think uh, we want to be effective in all situations we face and in a derby. It is important as well to keep control of your reaction and uh, to have a strong discipline because it's part of uh, the effectiveness in this kind of games. <coughs> so given he's got three cards in, in two games, will you have a word with him about it? Look, uh, I think uh, he's quite normally a very composed and calm guy. Sometimes on the field he has the, uh, a reaction that is a bit impulsive and uh, he knows that and it's not because you talk about that. I think he has to work on that and to keep uh, control of his uh, reactions in the game. Louis Giroud, uh, three goals in two games, but, was he, but is he still for you now plan B? There is no plan B in, uh, in any squad. I never uh, uh, did uh, think about my players of, like that. There is uh, the team who is the most effective for the next game, and that's what you pick. And uh, you consider ev I consider everybody as a regular player. So I believe that uh, basically uh, the way a manager thinks is just what's the next game. If he's involved in the next game in your mind, he plays. If he's not, uh, uh, mm. he doesn't start. But he has shown that uh, he can be is a huge asset for the club, and I always supported him. Jack Wilshere says he's not sure whether or not he has a future at Arsenal. What, what do you think? I think he has, but uh, <laughs> that's my opinion. Well, that's what counts, isn't it? Your opinion. I hope. <laughs> and November, I'm sure you know, is statistically mm. the worst month for you uh, since you came to Arsenal in terms of points gathered in the Premier League. You're obviously aware of that and are you worried that that might be the case this time? Around? No, it's uh, exciting as well. We have an opportunity to, uh, to show that uh, we are ready for a challenge like that and to do better. 
uh, when we have done historically, and we have a good opportunity on Sunday to, to show that. Uh, we have already started November, and in a positive way, and I'm sure that this team, uh, uh, we can face the history, but uh, we have as well an opportunity to make then history, and uh, to show that we can do better than what we did before. Two more quick ones from me, if I may. Um, Wembley, obviously you remember playing your Champions League home games at Wembley without too great a success. Spurs seem to be having similar difficulty. Will that be more of a problem for them from next season when they play all their home games at Wembley? I don't know, you know, I uh, didn't put our problem specifically down to, to Wembley at the time. Uh, we, when we lost, it was against Barcelona. Barcelona was always Barcelona. And uh, we lost one game against Fiorentina as well. And uh, uh, we lost the game against Lens, but the game had less meaning. So uh, sometimes uh, uh, I'm not sure that we lost because of Wembley. You know, we lost because uh, uh, we played against uh, good teams. What are Tottenham's problems with mm. Wembley, do I don't know, you know, I'm not a specialist uh, to give you my verdict on that. Uh, it's not uh, my job to do that. And just finally, I see you wearing your copy with pride, you're an adopted Brit. Yeah. You've heard about the row with FIFA regarding England, mm -hmm. Scotland and the Wales game as well. What's your view on them saying that players won't be allowed to wear copies? I find it a little bit surprising and uh, I believe that uh, by wanting to be uh, too much politically correct, sometimes you go against uh, uh, tradition. And uh, in this case, I think uh, that is part of the English culture that I love. They respect tradition and uh, they res respect people who have given their life for, for the country. And I think uh, FIFA should personally uh, not get involved in that. Arsene, given how the season finished last season and the fact that you have this great record of finishing above Spurs, do you feel that Arsenal have a mental hold over Tottenham? I don't know, we should ask them that. Uh, we try to do as well as we can, you know, and uh, uh, what we want is... Uh, at the moment I'm more focused on the fact that uh, this is more, more than the derby. I think it's an important game for us because it's a, a home game that is big and uh, uh, we have an opportunity to show that we have a, an interesting role to play in this Premier League and that we can win this kind of games. I suppose on the flip side of that, they are the only unbeaten side in the Premier League. Is that playing a part? No, no, it's too early in the season for that, you know, and uh, I think at the moment uh, uh, what is important is that uh, you focus on, uh, on ourselves, on the quality of our performances and uh, uh, that uh, we come, we, we, we know that we have uh, done very well away from home, we can do well at home and uh, we know as well that the success of our season will depend on how well we do at home. Aaron Ramsey was deployed on the right um, against Lida Goretz. Is that a position that you're seeing him regularly being in? Or no, uh, again, uh, I just consider the next game and uh, try to find the balance with the players uh, to be in a position where they can give their best for the team. And Ramsey has come back from uh, 11 weeks injury, you know. Uh, he has to come back. Uh, you do not come back uh, like uh, <coughs> magic. It takes time, but he can bring us his strengths in every single position. Is it wide or central? He prefers to play central, to play central and I can understand that. but. Uh, when he plays wide, he has enough freedom to be central as well. Does he have a dialogue with you about that? Because especially given that he played centrally with Wales and the success mm -hmm. he had with them? Yes, you know, of course, I speak with all the players about their performances, their positions. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, most of the time, uh, I think uh, you want the players to be happy and to play in their best position. Uh, finally, just coming back to the injuries a second, I if all the tests come back and, it, and it's good news, are you feeling you're going into this game on Sunday with an injury boost? Is there a potential that you could have an advantage by having players back? I believe we really have an advantage if we are all uh, at our best, no matter who plays. Uh, I have a squad where I have 25 players who are all uh, top class and uh, 
I think uh, this game, uh, game of that stature is not about 11, it's about 25. Everybody focused, everybody ready to contribute and everybody's contribution will count on Sunday. We have shown that recently in the games, you know, that uh, the players uh, we just spoke about, Giroud, he came on against Sunderland, made the difference. So that just shows that everybody's contribution will be absolutely vital. Hi, Alton. Given that Tottenham haven't won for a month and obviously had disappointment last night, is this a good time for Arsenal to play? I feel, uh, again, it's difficult to uh, speculate on any weakness of Tottenham. You know, I, uh, I prefer to concentrate on us to be strong and uh, to turn up with a top level performance. So would you be a happy man if, if Harry Kane, for example, is, is not in the first 11, he's caused you problems before? There again, we, we have uh, to expect Tottenham to be at their best and uh, respond with, with a performance that uh, uh, will be effective and uh, I believe uh, the mastery on our side will be no matter who they play, how well they play, but we are strong enough to win the game. And is that sort of borne out by the fact that you've coped with adversity recently? That, that must give you a lot of confidence that Yes, we have uh, from our recent history have shown that uh, even when uh, we were down or when we were tested mentally, we had the right response, and that that mental aspect will of course be very important on Sunday. Last one. Mesut Özil has been in, in great form lately. There's a report in Germany apparently that Joachim Love plans to give him a rest during the international break, and some of his other key players. Is that something you've? heard from their side as well and is it something you would welcome in terms of him? Give uh, I got uh, noise of that yes but I would uh, I think it would be an intelligent decision and uh, I would welcome the decision but uh, we have to wait until he gives uh, his selection out uh, to see if uh, Mesut Ozil will get the rest or not.